In this video, we're going to learn how to embed videos from YouTube into a Moodle course. At this point in time, you can see that I've accessed a video on the YouTube page. Uh, believe it or not, this is a YouTube video uh, about the solar system, which is very appropriate for fifth grade students. The problem is, is that it begins with an advertisement. And this is just one of many reasons why you'd probably want to embed this in a Moodle page to eliminate those distractions for your students. Let's scroll down the page and see what other distractions we can find. Whenever you access a YouTube video on the YouTube page, you'll see a list of recommended videos along the right-hand side of the page. Most of the time, they have something to do with the video you're watching, but you just never know what's going to pop up on that particular area of the page. Not a good idea if you're going to have kids watch videos either in class or at home. Scrolling down the page a bit more, you can see that all the YouTube videos have some comments attached to them underneath, which uh, can be made by anybody in the world, and a lot of those people are not thinking about school-age children when they make the comments. The danger here is language, and uh, another th reason why you don't want to just have kids go to the YouTube page, but you want to embed that in Moodle so you can get rid of these comments. Now that you see some of the reasons why you might want to embed a YouTube video into Moodle, let's start back up at the top and look at how we begin that process. Scroll down the page until you can see the share link, which is just under the video title. Clicking that share link will open up three options for you to share this video with other people. First one of those is share, and you can just copy that URL that you see, and you can post that on your Facebook page, Google+. You can tweet that really easily and quickly. Not useful in our situation. This, another option is to email the video to people. You can click the email button or link, and it will open up a little email message and embed the video into the person's email. That's not what we want either, because both of those are going to take the student to the YouTube page. What we want to do is click on the embed link and begin creating a little snippet of code that we can copy and paste into our Moodle course page. You'll notice an option to show more underneath the highlighted line of code. Click that now. After we scroll down the page a bit, you'll see all the options that you have available to you. Let's explore those now. At the top is the video size. This allows you to set the size of the video inside your page in case someone doesn't want to watch it in full screen. Click the little arrowhead to the right of the video size box to see all of your options. You'll need to keep the theme of your Moodle course page in mind as you pick a size. Uh, you don't want it too big or oh, you only see half the video at a time. So it's probably a good idea to keep it to no more than 640 and even possibly the 560 width if you've got a, a, a narrow panel down the middle of your Moodle course page. Another important item that you'll want to check is to make sure that the show suggested videos when the video finishes is unchecked. This will prevent kids from seeing four or five of the little thumbnails that will entice them to keep watching other videos which you don't want them to be viewing during class or when they're doing their homework at home. Let's briefly look at some of the other options and I'll give you a quick overview of what they do. Show player controls simply allows the YouTube uh, control bar to appear at the bottom of the screen so that people can stop and start the video on demand. They can adjust the volume. They can um, pull the playhead back and forth to quickly jump ahead in the video or to go back and review things. I always leave that showing. A uh, second one is to show the video title and player actions. That just gives a little more information at the top of the screen. Uh, in this case, you would see planets in our solar system at the top of the screen. A little more information on that one. Uh, the third one is to enable privacy enhanced mode. And this protects the privacy of the student just a little bit more than if you didn't check that. So I usually always check that one as well. The use old embed code we don't need, uh, and in fact Moodle doesn't like it, so you're better off to leave that unchecked. All the time that you've been working away, checking boxes and selecting sizes, YouTube's been building this little snippet of code up in this box above the preview that you're going to copy and paste into your Moodle page. 
So what we need to do now is just simply go up and select all that text and then copy it. Once your text is selected, you can copy it by pressing Control and V, or you can just right click on it and choose Copy from the drop down menu. We now have a nice little snippet of code that we're going to use to embed the video into a page in our Moodle course. Let's flip over to Moodle now. Back on our Moodle site, we'll need to make sure that we have the editing turned on. And then I'll scroll down to my Solar System topic section where I want to add the video page. We're going to add a page resource to our Moodle course in which we'll embed the actual video itself. So let's start by clicking the link to add an activity or resource at the bottom of my topic section. We'll scroll down to the resources section of this dialog box, select the page resource, then just click add to create this new page in your Moodle course in the solar system topics area. Let's complete the required sections of this particular page, starting with the name. The next required section of your page is the description, but even though it's required, it doesn't necessarily have to be shown, so I usually type something fairly short in this area. With those two entered, let's scroll down the page to where we really want to be, which is the page content. This is where we're going to actually place the video. To keep things simple, by default, Moodle hides a lot of the tools that are available to you for text editing. We need those tools in order to complete this exercise. So I'm going to click the button to toggle uh, the toolbars to show me all the tools available. With that one click, you can see that we've now revealed two more rows of tools which we'll need to embed our video. Let's go ahead and click down in the text area and type in some kind of description for the student. When you finish typing, press enter a couple of times to get to a blank line. Okay, now it's time to cast aside your fears, put on your techie hat, and let's dig down inside this page. If we were to take that little snippet of code that we copied from the YouTube page and just paste it into the text area, all the student would see is that little snippet of code. It wouldn't display the video the way that we want it to. In order to get that little piece of code to work, we have to actually paste it in as HTML code. Now, HTML is just simply the um, code that programmers use to create web pages. And while that sounds like a daunting task, it's really, really simple because Moodle has a little editor that you can use to just open, paste, and close. That's all we have to do. So you notice there's a little symbol up here with a less than and a greater than sign. That's always a symbol for an HTML editor. And we're going to click that now, which will give us a space to paste in our little snippet of code. When the HTML editor opens up, just right click at the end of any text that you see in that box. Then choose Paste from the menu. And that snippet of code that you copied from your YouTube page will now show up in the HTML editor page. If it looks good, just click the Update button. Now you'll see the video appear in the text area. Scroll down the page and then click the button labeled Save and Display to admire your work on Moodle. I'll scroll down a bit so you can see the whole video. Now when students visit the page, they'll see only the video you want when they view it. No ads at the beginning, no suggested videos at the end. Distraction-free learning just the way you want it to be. Before we conclude this video, we'd like to include a couple of other tools that we have found are extremely useful when using YouTube videos with your students. The first one is SafeShare.tv. This can be used to create links in Moodle, but it can also be used to cre create a distraction-free screen up in front of the room when you're trying to show video to the entire class. You don't have to worry about anything showing except the video, so no more embarrassing moments when a picture or a suggested video shows up on the right hand side that you didn't expect. SafeShare.tv uh, will save you a lot of heartache in your classroom. The other one that we really like is called Video Notes. This is an application, a web-based application that allows students to take notes while they're watching the video. What's great though is when they're done taking the notes they can click on any one of them and that will take them to the spot in the video that the note refers to. 
Video Notes is a really powerful tool for students to use. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, video and it gives you some ideas for using YouTube in your classroom in a safe and distraction-free manner.